guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So this past weekend, I helped to decorate for a baby shower. The theme of that baby shower was Winter Wonderland. I was super excited because it's that time of the year, right? It's that time of the year for the Winter Wonderland themed events. I already have two more booked for this year. You guys know Christmas is my favorite holiday, so I'm super excited when it comes to all of my Winter Wonderland themed events, okay? Now, for this baby shower, my client reached out to me. She's seen pictures of another Winter Wonderland baby shower that I decorated last year, and she sent me those pictures and said, I want exactly that, right? So, of course, I tried to give her little suggestions, right? So we can change it up just a little bit but she was very adamant. You know, she wanted it exactly like my other client. So let's get into the setup. I'll show you how it ended up turning out and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so that I can share with you my lessons learned. All right?
right, guys. So that was a baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? My client loved all of the decorations. I was super excited. I actually decorated and left the event before she even got there. So I was a little bit nervous because I don't like doing that. I like for my client to see the decorations and let me know, you know what she thinks before I leave. But when I came back to clean up, she gave me a hug and she said that she loved everything. So that made me feel better, all right? Now let's get into the lessons learned because of course, of course, something always comes up, all right, with my events. So the first lesson learned with this event is that I had the wrong chair covers. So I brought chair covers for banquet chairs and not folding chairs. So that was my bad. Going forward, I'm going to have to make sure that I'm either calling the venue or just checking pictures online, you know, or doing a venue visit. I need to make sure that I confirm what type of chairs that the venue has before, you know, I bring my chair covers. Even though they were the wrong chair covers, we just had to make it work. Like my mom and my sister are now helping me with my events. So when they got there, I'm like, look, we just have to make these work because these are the ones, these are the chair covers that I brought. So let that be a lesson for you. If you're having an event and you wanna cover the chairs, just make sure you're asking what type of chairs does the venue have because there are different chair covers based on the chair. So if it's a folding chair or if it's a banquet chair, or sometimes they have different types of chairs. You know, you use that information to figure out what chair cover to use. The second lesson learned with this event is that I need to be crystal clear when it comes to the amount of setup time that I need for my events. So I need to make sure that I'm emphasizing to clients, if I say that I need two hours for setup, that means that I need the full two hours. So if setup time is from one to three, do not expect us to be done before three o'clock. Now, yeah, if we get done early, that's great, but expect us to take that full two hours for setup. And another thing I need to make sure is that if my client is not going to be there and they're sending family and friends you know, to the venue while we're setting up, I need to make sure that my client is communicating with whoever is coming to the venue the amount of time that it's gonna take us, right? And I'm gonna stop right there because I'm gonna talk about that more in my next video. When clients send, you know, family and friends to the venue when you're trying to set up. So I'm just going to stop right there. But I learned from this event that I need to make sure that I'm really emphasizing and being crystal clear. If I say I need two hours, three hours, four hours for setup, that means I need that whole time to get things ready. And here's my last lesson learned. I have got to do something different when it comes to these table linens. So for this event, I provided the table linens, the chair covers, and the chair sashes. So me and my mom spent a couple of days ironing. We ironed all the chair sashes, which that was relatively easy. But when it came to those tablecloths, I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? It just took so long to steam. It took so long to iron and I'm over it. Like I just feel like it's not an effective use of my time to be spending days ironing tablecloths, right? I tried to get my mom to help me, you know, steam the tablecloths, but after a couple of them, she was over it. Like she was like, I'm not doing this. I need to do something else. This is too much, right? So what I'm gonna start doing is two things. So the first thing is for my existing tablecloths that I already have in my inventory, I'm gonna start washing them and using this. So this is a fabric softener. It's supposed to help keep the wrinkles out of your clothes and your fabrics, all right? And then also I've been using this, okay? So this is wrinkle releaser, and what I like to do is I like to just spray it on there, spray it on my tablecloths, and then what I do is I put it in my dryer on a steam setting, 
and then afterwards I have to take it out and still iron it, okay? It's a lot of work. I mean, there could be times where it takes me a half an hour just to do one tablecloth, right? Sometimes it even takes more. So that brings me to my second point. What I'm about to do is start to invest in wrinkle-free tablecloths because it's just too much. It is too much to spend hours and days ironing. I could be using that time to do something else. So for my existing tablecloths that I have in my inventory, I'm going to start using these. I will definitely let you guys know if it makes a difference. And then I'm also going to start investing in wrinkle-free table linens. I'm over it. <laughs> I am over spending so much time ironing these table linens. All right, guys. So those were the lessons that I had for you. I'm going to put the link to all of the materials that I use in the description of this video. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in my next video.